information. Sir, as uh, Parikrishan sir has rightly commented, there are many things that you know that are there on the internet. And uh, some of them which may not be relevant to that particular client who is searching the data. And we have seen instances where people have searched chest pain and going to cardiologists, whether it, even though it was an anxiety, or uh, palpitations, going to various physicians, neurologists, and all these things. So, either way, it is exploitative for a uh, patient is being exploited there because. Once they go to there, he has to be evaluated. And uh, not only him, but even his friends, someone who have read it somewhere, are also a part, being part of it. You know, I have read it on the internet, you have this. So, this is how uh, the information that is uh, being overloaded, I mean, like, extra uh, irrelevant or, uh, information that is being, uh, that is causing more harm to the client uh, than. Today morning, Dr. Sakish Babu sir was uh, telling me about a depressed policeman. He was uh, uh, duped of around 20 lakh rupees uh, uh, by uh, cyber cleaning, uh, I think. So, uh, put uh, light on something cyber crimes, Dr. Manu. Yes, in the house. Uh, in my personal opinion, the people, the younger generation who are using the online more uh, addictive type or more intensely than the middle aged people or old generation. But they are less corruptive, they are less violent, they are uh, more empathetic. I feel, I don't know how seniors can throw light on it, than the older or middle aged generation. Why? Because they don't have struggle to go for food or struggle to go for uh, safety kind of things. They are more humanistic towards the other persons. Maybe online bullying, maybe their online violence is there, but uh, when we speak with a middle-aged person or older person and when we speak with it or interact with a younger generation, more uh, humanistic traits are there in the younger generation. What you say, I request one question, sir, to answer this later on, one man, sir. And my second opinion is, the 5G introduction is going to change our entire psychiatry practice, not only psychiatry, most clinical practices like general medicine, pulmonology, dermatology, where there is no palpations or no physical examination is not needed very much. In probably 5-8 years ago, it will be a virtual medical college, a virtual auditorium, we have a virtual auditorium, we have a virtual auditorium, we have a virtual auditorium, so we have a virtual auditorium, so we have a virtual auditorium, and we have a virtual auditorium. So physical clinics are not needed. In probably 10 years ago, okay, from the generation of 10 years practice, they don't need to rent a clinic, they don't need to have a furniture, Meta was slopal and the universe, meta universe slopal. Mana representation of mana online identity, mana identity ka mare duram, mare rojo etta duram leda na opinion. These two things you can like, sir. Yeah, definitely Dr. Man Mohan. As there are crimes in physical world, there can be crimes in cyber world too. So, Dr. Man Krishan, anything you want to add? See. Everything is negative about uh, cyber, cyber world, okay, we are talking about it. So, I wanted to point out one thing, maybe we are losing the forest to the trees is what I can sometimes feel, okay. Because most of the times we are blaming uh, addiction to cyber, okay, internet as the major thing. Anybody will talk of screen time, addiction, social media addiction. You talk of these things and if you look at uh, PubMed also, if you type internet and psychiatry, you get maybe thousands of articles on addiction, but you don't get much of research on how it is affecting your personality, impulsivity, narcissism, okay. Uh, most of the irritability, anger is increasing in people, okay. Narcissism is increasing to some extent, okay. Cyber, okay. Uh, what did we say, that's a uh, type personality, black personality, okay. Dark personality, cyber, okay, psychopaths, cyber psychopaths. Okay, so when we are looking at uh, type of uh, evolution over a period of time on personalities and all. But at the same time, in my mind, I have a question whether if internet was not there, what would these people do? Okay. Did actually incidence of illnesses increase because of internet? Okay. Has the prevalence increased because of internet? Okay. Did really all these uh, addictions and all would not have existed if internet was not there? These gamblings would not have happened. Okay, all these psychopaths would not have existed in the world at all if the internet was not there. I don't think that is true, okay, to be clear. Okay, because if you add a new diagnosis and increase prevalence of uh, psychiatric illnesses in the community, it is not equal to actually it is increased. Okay, I made a new diagnosis for internet gaming disorder and I put more number of patients into that 
and I do a internet search. I give a chance to different people or Google Forms and then try to fill up and then analyze the data and again put it back saying that this is the prevalence of different things or that. Okay, so whether real, in reality, whether the incidence of psychiatric illnesses or prevalence of psychiatric illnesses is really going up because of the internet? Okay, if not, whether all those people who have these personality predisposition, who are likely to get addicted to something or the other, are looking at a, one of the avenues which is available. Previously, cannabis was not there, maybe cannabis came into place. Did cannabis in, okay, that, that might be a wrong example, but at the same point of time, okay, because of the existence of internet, the, it has become one of the medium through which the addictions have increased. And not only addiction, but other things which have increased have coming into picture. And uh, I think, okay, internet is not all that bad. It has given us a lot of positives. So answering to you, <laughs> maybe I got carried away. Okay, so when I'm answering the back to the cyber crimes, yeah. So uh, it gives that as all the speakers in the past, all because all the things which were talked about uh, in the past from the morning have been saying that it is the anonymity, okay, your identity which can be anonymous and how you can do it and how the the hacking of uh, easy accessibility, the hacking of the AIMS medical records, okay, and it was so easy and then the struggle had to go for such a long time and then people had to shift to manual. Okay, so it's just for the spun of it, they're doing it sometimes and then demanding ransom, huge amounts of ransom, which is disturbing and at the same point of time. Okay, but the accessibility and anonymity has really helped them to look at it. Uh, what I think is, uh, there will be a time uh, where there will be stability. Like, uh, we had uh, all these things, good, bad and ugly, we have in our own mind, we have in our emotions, we have in our behavior. So this was there in physical world and now this is seen in uh, virtual world. And maybe we will have time wherein uh, everybody will be exposed to or born in that uh, era and uh, will have a stability. We will have some people who will, who will be psychopaths, who will, have, who will be psychopaths in virtual world or uh, they will do some crimes in virtual world it will be beneficial uh, the cyber psychiatry or cyber psychology in this virtual as our clinics are beneficial to patients even uh, I think this cyber space will be beneficial so uh, I think uh, uh, there will be a balance over a period of time I don't know when but uh, what we see now as I was uh, telling around 50% of population is using internet now, 50% uh, and it is almost 43, 47 and now 50%, so almost stabilized, so even uh, the crimes and uh, the bad part will stabilize over a period of time. Pavan, uh, do you want to add on something? Yeah, nothing is like, you know, science and concise, those are two important things, and anything which is used with uh, concise, like, you know, we will have more results. As far as that is not there, then so probably we are happy. We will have to deal with this. I would like to uh, ask Dr. Pani Prashant his uh, last two minutes each. So, uh, uh, take home message. No, uh, I, uh, I'm always a person who tries to balance sort of a thing. So, I think internet helps us in a lot of ways. It has helped us evolve a lot of ways. And even for us to look into information which is easily available, if patient is saying something, we just type on the internet, go to Google, search for some article, is there this possibility has happened in the past or not. So the rapidity with which the information exchange is happening is a very good thing. But at the same time, when something is so easy and accessible to everybody, will have its offside. So if a proper balance is there between what is right and what is good and what is the information, uh, I think, when we are practicing, we have to be uh, clear and upfront with the, most of the patients about what is the information we are giving, about the diagnosis, about the illness, even about the duration of treatment, about the medication, side effect, what to expect, what not to expect. Maybe we have to take more time giving informed decisions and informed consent. Then the practice is safe whether you do it in any way. Okay, so that, that's what is my take home message. Uh, Dr. Banma, you are two minutes. Yes, very much. Thank you. Uh, I am very much uh, optimistic towards the uh, coming generations. Rabai Rajalu and the younger generations for like Yudha Takpai Tayani, they could have Mata Vishwa Salvaju, Mura Namakal Gauchu, Victor Namadhe Kudaval Gauchi, and Takuvaite in Kuncham, Bitter World in Kuncham, 
వండర్ఫుల్ వరల్డ్ వస్తుంది అని అనుకుంటున్నాను సార్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఈజ్ టెక్నాలజీ మనం ఉన్న పాత దానికంటే రాబోయేది ఇంకా మంచి ప్రపంచం వస్తుంది బికాస్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ దే షేర్ గుడ్ థింగ్స్ అంటే చెడు బయట ఎట్లుందో లోపల కూడా ఇంటర్నెట్లో కూడా అర్థమే ఉంది సైబర్ వరల్డ్లో కూడా అర్థమే ఉంది సో ఐ మోర్ ఆప్టిమిస్టిక్ టువర్డ్స్ ద యంగర్ జనరేషన్ ద యూసేజ్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఐ లైక్ టు థ్యాంక్ ద ఆర్గనైజర్స్ ఫర్ హోల్డింగ్ దిస్ ప్యానల్ డిస్కషన్ కాలింగ్ అస్ యాజ్ మోడరేటర్ అండ్ పెనలిస్ట్ ఆన్ బిహా ఆఫ్ ద పెనలిస్ట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ అండ్ అవర్ ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఈ వాంట్స్ టు ఆస్క్ క్వశ్చన్ డాక్టర్ జార్జ్ recent it is of recent three four months i see that this cyber uh, addiction is nothing but an extension of our biological addiction so i i i think each one of us should be little more cautious when you are seeing a child or for example today somebody was talking about adhd the risk is high or asperger so many things but i have noticed that all these people all these uh, individuals or uh, patients who are coming with addiction internet addiction porn addiction or internet gambling losing lakhs of rupees it is my little experience talks that uh, i am lucky that there are people coming from the same family when you see their father is into addiction their grandfather is into addiction but only the media of addiction has changed they were into somebody was into some gambling somebody into alcoholism somebody was into cannabis and now the fellow who was into cannabis in my previous visit now he has come with internet gambling and losing money so might be i think definitely the role of genes definitely the role of uh, 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 what to say our neurotransmitters is definitely there so it looks fancy but definitely as psychiatrists i think the theme is it is very relevant that we have to never miss the history and we should never miss trying our drugs for example naltrexin does two good results from my experience so might be we should not miss that we are psychiatrists not only talking and looking at but i feel the role of genes the role of previous you know addictions all this play and definitely we should do our role as psychiatrists we should try our uh, the, you know uh, medicine we should try our therapy that's what i i felt i thought i thought it should be a part of our uh, and it should, should be good if somebody comes up with the next topic the role of genes and cyber psychiatry i think that will definitely and some some publish publication should come up because our population is so much now even person coming from rural population they are losing lakhs of rupees on online gaming they are having to sell their properties their fathers and if you clearly look into that some mental illness is there in the genes actually so i think we should we should really look at genes and cyber uh, uh, addiction i think thank you to you jarve thank you okay.
to request the President of Indian Psychiatric State, Telangana State Branch, Dr. P. George Renegaru, to take over. Thank you. I think uh, it was a wonderful session. The best part was, I think, uh, we had uh, the audience. The, the audience could stick to their chairs. And I think uh, there was not much of sightseeing, so I think anyway, that was an uh, added advantage. <laughs> And uh, definitely, I think the topic was, I think that was the suspense thriller I felt. And uh, the opening session, second session, third session, every speaker could really give us some good take home message. And definitely, I think a new topic, first time dealt uh, in the Telangana chapter of IPS. And uh, excellent uh, uh, hard work done by the organizing committee and all the scientific committee members, all the speakers, and uh, hope the audience could uh, also get some valuable uh, inputs. And now the trend, now as we change our clothes, our hairstyles, and our uh, attires, I think our topics also are changing. We have to change according to the trend. I think that's what the message today is. Um, and we also have to get up updated, and uh, particularly, I think we all should really look at uh, um, even being very careful and might be uh, the the part starts at our home. That's I think Dr. Fani Prashant was saying. I think right uh, from our children we can learn, and I think that's where uh, the learning is going to start. And uh, uh, we do not have patients somewhere in our clinic, and I think we should see that we don't have patients in our house. Plus, uh, our children at risk, and then we are also at risk. Might be uh, so good things and. Uh, um, before that, I think I will I'll ask the uh, organizing secretary, Dr. Narendra Rao, to give a brief uh, uh, update about today's program and how it, uh, how, how it went on today. Good evening, sir. Um, my colleagues present here. What else is going to be fine with your stomach? Today is heavy and brain and stomach, so tomorrow it will be light, I think. We had uh, 112 registrations, but only 78 people turned up. Uh, yeah, despite of our efforts to lose people, we couldn't. Don't know the reason. Maybe we missed some trick there. We thought of inviting speakers all over from India. So maybe uh, we might have involved more local speakers that might have increased some numbers, maybe I don't know. I wanted to be in politics, but I realized that I am not uh, fit to be po in politics. <laughs> I, I thank everyone who came um, from far places to be present here and hope we will do it better next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I request... Uh, Chaitanya Deepak. Several months, if not years, 
and uh, I think overall, uh, even if you look at the attendance, probably the, maybe the hall is very big, that's why. Right. Otherwise, uh, I think many people stayed glued to these seats all through the long lectures. And I think uh, overall, it, it was an excellently organized midterm CME. And uh, would look forward to such attending such programs, even as a delegate. Thank you. And uh, as you are asking, why come on? I, I really feel because it's a one day program, right? I am the president, I have no other option. I have to come for DC, so I had to come yesterday. If I was not the president, I have to start in the morning at 6 o'clock to reach here. I think that was one thing where I felt. Otherwise, uh, perfectly organized and uh, the real people who had come, I think uh, they wanted to learn. So it, it's a good attendance, uh, at least to my knowledge. Uh, over the eight years, you have done a wonderful job. And uh, definitely those who have attended, no doubt, the new, new theme is there into their brain and I am sure you are going to get addicted to this topic. You will learn more and uh, it will definitely help our uh, better patient care. Um, without um, much uh, time, I think uh, I, I request our uh, national president, Dr. N. L. Raju sir, uh, to give his valuable message. And uh, first thing before message, I really appreciate that the national president was there all the day. I think really we should be a big uh, uh, round of applause because uh, you know, busy schedule, he has to run around so many states, and he has already said in the morning that he had to, you know, forward to another important program. And just because he is our Telugu person and he is our man, and uh, he with his passion and love and affection for Kamam, I think he is here. And uh, excellent guest sir, and you have done a wonderful job, the organizing committee, that you could bring in the national president here, and he was there with us all through the day. So not all states are lucky, not all, all people are lucky to have his presence. And uh, really sir, from bottom of our heart sir, on behalf of Telangana State Bank sir, we thank you, because you are there all through the day. I think that, that shows your commitment and uh, your, uh, you know, your enthusiasm to encourage us youngsters to take you as our role model. Sir, over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. George Ritty. I think nothing is better music than hearing some nice words about you. So that is what I had. I had a very good music from my ears. Uh, having said all that, I think, as he rightly said, but I don't remember in recent times that I had an opportunity to sit through all the day because I had to run from one place to the other in the afternoon, catch a plan after the inauguration, those things. And other than that also, the topics the speakers were brilliant. I should tell you that. I think, uh, I think really congratulate the executive of uh, Telangana State Branch, the CMA committee, whoever they are, and of course the local organizing committee for bringing in people from various parts of the country for a small place like Kamo, it's not easy. I think it, it speaks volumes of influence they have. So, so and uh, I think, I, I, I'm not that it is a valid victory function, I'm making a um, statement, but spending one day on cyber psychiatry and with a lot of enthusiasm and trust is not easy. Today we had speakers who had excelled one over the other. Brilliant speeches we had had today. Those people who listened are lucky, those people who didn't, I would say that they just missed that program. I think that is also one reason why I stayed back from till morning, till I think zero to zero they would say. When there was no chair I was here, most probably I would be here and there would be no one in the chair, in the audience. So, this is a brilliantly organized program. We, as uh, our Dr. Sujit Sekhar says, the food is too, 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 uh, very, very, very Asians are there. We didn't know what to pick up and what not to eat. Uh, so overall, uh, this is the one of the best programs which I had attended because I have been attending one or two, at least average six programs a month. So. This really, I think I appreciate the efforts made by Dr. Satish Babu, Dr. Narayan Rao, uh, Dr. Pramod, uh, from, I, I both from behind the scene and in front of this scene too. Uh, so it has been a brilliant uh, performance by them. And uh, uh, the executive under the guidance of uh, Dr. George Reddy and the incoming president. Uh, and 
and uh, Nanj and uh, Dr. Pawan, Dr. Sai. It, all, all I think this is a good unit you have in Telangana State Bank, and I'm sure such programs will continue to happen. About the audience, this is not disappointing. In fact, this is far bigger than the what we had had in recent times. In IAPP, I don't name the speaker because he is one of the decorated, very respectable, very highly rated speaker in the country. And we had five people, three of which of whom are his own family members. So this is uh, not something surprising, especially in a place uh, as uh, the majority was telling, coming in the morning and going back in the night again is not easy for majority of them. Had it been I know it's really boring because some people say that start with lunch and end with lunch with the dinner in between perhaps would have attracted, I don't know, like that would add a lot of uh, uh, burden to the organizing committee, I do understand that. But this is all something, I think there is nothing to be disappointed about the thin, uh, this thing, this is what we expect, this is all what we expect uh, in a CME, I mean a state level CME and in a place where uh, coming and going is not really easy. So, I think uh, there is nothing to be disappointed about. What I believe is that uh, I hope Mamta Medical College will continue to, and come on, Psychiatric Society will continue to uh, organize such meetings. Most probably, uh, we will come back for something like uh, South John Conference again. Dr. Satish Bhav already is showing uh, his thumbs up. So, hopefully, we will have a South John Conference and come on in another three, four years, four years, 26 likely is the turn of Telangana. So hopefully, I hope for someone would bid for that. And uh, I only wish that I would also get invitation at that time too. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me, for making me part of it. And as I said, it has, I have been lucky to be part, staying together I mean, throughout the day. And I don't think uh, it was any uh, thing great about it. It was worth staying for the entire day, for the learnings we made, for the love we made, for the affection we made. It is something, as you said, it's like staying in your house. You don't, there's nothing like the house, you don't go out, you stay in the house so without, no matter how small or how uh, this thing that your own house is. It is like that, so we had had fantastic time. I once again wish the all the uh, organizers, the executive, the national uh, state branch, everybody, good luck. And uh, once again, thank you for all your hospitality. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think uh, definitely Dr. Narendra Garu, I think you should uh, take back your statement. Then. Uh, definitely, I think the Kamam Psychiatry Society, Dr. Uh, Prabhat sir is there, Dr. Prashant, Dr. Uh, Virinder, and uh, all the other uh, youngsters, all the postgraduates from Mamta Medical College. I think you did a wonderful job. And uh, anyway, this is the last fragments I think many people uh, would have left. So usually this is the trend. Uh, might be, I think, uh, our national president has given that advice. Might be, we will definitely look into that, sir. Might be, when we are trying to look at place like this, might be lunch to lunch might uh, attract uh, or it might be more convenient for the members to come. Though it will be a burden to the organizing uh, committee, but I think uh, we should collectively take that. Uh, uh, advice and uh, it might help more uh, uh, members to attend this kind of academic uh, events. And there were a lot of requests for this hybrid kind of uh, thing, but we, we are not ready for the hybrid one because once the hybrid, then we really don't know what will be the you know turnover and uh, how much arrangements we can make, and that would be a bigger disaster. So we, we felt that uh, it should be physical. And uh, anyway, we have webinars, we have, uh, that can be purely webinar, and I thought this, this should, that's why we told them that it would be strictly physical, and they went accordingly. Uh, sir, I request the uh, guest of honor, uh, Dr. Suji sir, to uh, felicitate the organizing secretary, Dr. Uh, uh, Kamapati, with a shawl. Thank you. Thank you. I request the chief guest, Sir, thank you, sir, for making this day. Thank you very much, sir.
on behalf of IPS CSD, thank you, sir. to come over. I request sir, Dr. Pramod sir, Pramod Kumar Reddy sir, please sir. Give a big round of applause. Thank you. Uh, and we'll stand up for the national anthem. 
Okay. 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 